to find your purpose. It's Coop Blackson here, nationally best-selling author of You Are The One. How do I find my purpose, Coot? This is a question I get all the time. Probably not a day goes by where someone doesn't email me or ask me or DM me or request uh, uh, t- some guidance on how do I find my purpose? This age-old question, purpose, 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 what is your purpose? In fact, we're taught that you have to find your purpose, that it's something that you should seek out and find. What if I told you that purpose was not something that you needed to find? There's a myth that you've got to find it, and until you find it, you're not really living living your life until you find that you're not truly alive. And so the sneaky thing is the ego is constantly seeking, 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 seeking this elusive idea of a purpose. And until it finds that purpose, we're not really living fully this moment's magic, the present moment fully. What if I told you purpose was not something you needed to find? What if I told you to stop seeking your purpose because the constant pursuit and seeking of your purpose was taking you away from living fully this moment right now? What if I told you that constantly seeking your purpose was taking you away from the inherent purpose that is this very moment? What if I told you that right now, this moment, living fully, open-hearted, this moment was your purpose? That there was no purpose out there to go seek and find. So if you're seeking your purpose, if you're looking for what your purpose is, look around, living fully this moment, living authentically this moment, is your purpose purpose, to experience the fullness of life, to grow, to evolve, to become the most authentic version of yourself, is the purpose of life, is the purpose of your life, is the purpose of your existence, so that you can learn the lessons in any given situation, in any given relationship, in any given moment. This is the purpose of why we're here. Ultimately, the bottom line, you and I, we are here to Evolve. That's the biggest sense of purpose. Now, if we bring it down to the micro, if we bring it down to a more individual level, in terms of what is my purpose, in terms of what am I here to do? Now, just know what you're here to do is different from your purpose. Your purpose is here to evolve. What you're here to do, which might be the expression of your purpose, and what you're here to do, what you're here to create in the world, are all uh, processes and the journey and the vehicles for your evolution. And so what are you here to do? What are you here to offer? What are you here to create in the world as an expression of your purpose? Here's what I would say. You don't have to really know what your purpose is in order to live it. You don't have to know where you're even going in order to get to exactly where you need to be. What I would encourage is that you begin moving. You just, st- you just start. Most people don't start. They're trying to figure out their entire life purpose from the sidelines, from the beginning. What I would suggest is that if you're not quite sure what your purpose is, the expression of your purpose is, feel, ask yourself this question. What do I love? What turns me on? What would I do for free? What brings me most alive? And go in that direction. Move in that direction, even if you don't have it all figured out, even if you don't know where where it's all going. If you go in that direction, here's what happens. You move in that direction, trusting openly, living authentically, the direction of what you love. As you move in that direction, Life then shows up to meet you at your point of action and what you will find is the next step gets revealed to you as you take action. Your purpose is a revelation to be uh, revealed through the process of living itself, not something to be mentally figured out. Because here's the deal, your purpose will evolve as you evolve and the only way you evolve is to be in the process of living. Your purpose now won't be your purpose a year from now, five years from now, 20 years from now, 15 years from now, 10 years from now. Your purpose is evolutionary and will continue to evolve and expand as you evolve and expand and and grow and mature and develop in your own consciousness. So when you take the step, life reveals to you the next step. Then life reveals to you the next step. Then life reveals to you the next step. And what you will end up finding, which is what I found in my life and what I've observed in many of my clients' lives and many people's lives, is as you take one step, the next step, the next step, you end up living into your purpose and life shows you. Allow life to show you your 
purpose and the expression of your soul's gift might actually not be what you thought it was if you look at Obama, if you look at Oprah. I'm sure many, I'm sure many other folks did not think that they would be doing exactly what they were going to be doing. President of the United States, you know, mega media mogul, billionaire. I'm sure they didn't have any idea when they started out, but they started in the direction of what they loved. The second question to ask yourself when you're thinking about the expression of your purpose is this. What specific skills do you have? Sometimes there's things we love, but we're not really skilled at it. So look at your life experience. Look at your past. Look at everything you've been through. Look at, look at all the experiences you've had. Your successes, your failures, your breakups, your wins. All of that was the preparation to help you grow, evolve. All of that was the preparation to help you develop the necessary skills at that particular moment in time that you're now able to use for the expression and the fulfillment of your purpose. What specific skills that you have? Because you also want to combine your love with a specific skill set that you have. I love car racing. I love Formula One cars. But the chances of me being a Formula One car racer, the chances of me going into Formula One, not very high. I don't really have any experience or skills in that area. And so probably not an area. So if you look at the skill sets you have, likely your life will give you clues based on what you've done that it may not be the same industry, but those skills are something you can use in your life for the fulfillment of your purpose. The other thing to ask yourself is, Really look at what unique problems are you gifted at solving? What problems are you uniquely gifted at solving? This is a key question, okay? Because when you solve a pain, problem, or challenge that someone has, that's when you add value. And money is the exchange for when you add value by solving someone's pain, problem, or challenge in their life. That's a key. That is the key, which is many times where many people do what they love, but they don't really uh, thrive financially because they're not necessarily solving someone's pain, problem, or challenge. In other words, they're not necessarily adding specific, tangible, measurable, trackable value to people's lives. They think they might be, but the reality is they may not actually be, right? And the last thing I would invite you to think about as you reflect on your purpose to start honing in and going in a direction so that you can then take action is is what group of people do you feel a connection to? What group of people do you love? What group of people do you connect with? Do you, do you feel an affinity to the youth? Do you feel an affinity to teenage mothers? Do you feel an affinity to the elephants, the dolphins, the animals? Do you feel an affinity to the indigenous people? Do you feel an affinity to the elderly? Likely you feel a connection to this group of people because maybe your soul has a soul agreement, a karmic uh, a contract with this group of people or that can be showing you you, which group of people that perhaps you have the empathy, the connection to be able to serve. That gives you a clue where, your, where the expression of your purpose may lie. Based on these four factors, love, passion, aliveness, skill, unique problem that you're able to solve, the group and the community you, you have an affinity to, that can begin to help you hone in on the direction to channel your energy, your focus, your creativity, and your talent in terms of your purpose. Now, you don't have to know exactly what your purpose is. Don't get hung up on that, but go in the direction. Most people don't start because they're trying to figure everything out up front. Just start, just start, just start. Life will reveal itself to you in the process of living itself. Purpose is not something you need to find. Purpose is something you get to live each moment of your life. Showing up, doing what you can. And even if you're not clear, just begin. Just begin by responding to the need that life presents to you in the form of people that show up. And when you do that, and you give, and you serve, life will give you more. And then you will see the magic happen. Folks, if you enjoyed this short video blog, please share it with everyone you know. Go to my website, www.coopblackson.com. Make sure you subscribe to my website, enter your name and your email. Make sure you subscribe, hit subscribe below on this YouTube channel. And I look forward to connecting with you and inspiring you more. Love now.